Treatment of acute myelogenous leukemia or AML. In the previous video, we have discussed acute myelogenous leukemia. Today, let's know how to manage it. You know, treatment of any acute leukemia has an induction phase and consolidation phase. I'm talking about chemotherapy, not radiation. First, induction phase, we give chemotherapy in high dose to suppress all of the cell lines but patient is now prone to infection. We can give myeloid growth factors. We can give red blood cells and platelets. Then, when everything normalizes, i.e. remission, we can go to the consolidation phase. Fine. Then bone marrow or stem cell transplant is the last resort. It's specific about AML. So, induction phase, give cytosine arabinoside, for seven days, plus donorupacin for three days. Seven plus three equals 10. Consolidation, we use the same drugs. Thank you. Allogenic stem cell transplant, of course. We keep this for patients less than 60 years old. Why? Because young patients usually have better prognosis. Young patients have life in front of them. Young patients are healthier, so they are good candidates for chemotherapy and we have limited resources we don't have stem cell transplant for everybody now if there is the specific type m3 acute promyelocytic leukemia give vitamin a also known as retinoic acid or tretinoin and check for dic and check for differentiation syndrome here's a case for you your 50-year-old male patient had fatigue mucosal bleeding. You discovered blasts in the blood. They had our rods. So these are probably AML. Okay, they are telling us that it's AML. Fine. Started induction chemotherapy. Then after 15 days, the patient still has absolute neutrophil count of less than 500. This is so low. This is neutropenia. He has an increased risk for... And the answer is C, bacterial pneumonitis and enterocolitis. We call this neutropenic enterocolitis or typhilitis. And we'll talk about this in later videos.